Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone So you are from group 11 I'm Nurin Rawati Nawir And my partner Rian Agung Kurnia Want to present our material Our material is Experimental Research Design The first one you should know is What is Experimental Design? An experimental design is the general plan for carrying out a study with an active independent variable. The design is important because it determines the study's internal validity, which is the ability to reach valid conclusions about the effect of the experimental treatment on the dependent variable. Classifying experimental design Experimental design classify according to the number of independent variables. Divide into two, the first one is single variable designs. A single variable design has one manipulate independent variable. The second is factorial design. Factorial design has two or more independent variables, at least one of which is manipulate. The next is free experimental design. Pre experiments are the simple form of research design. In a pre experiment, either a single group or multiple groups are observed subsequent to some again or treatment presumed to case change. We do not recommend this design, however, we realize they are still sometimes used in educational research. We include these sweet designs in our discussion simply because they illustrate quite well the way that extraneous variables may appear to jeopardize the internal validity of a design. If you become aware of this sort of weakness in a design, you should be able to avoid them. There are three types of pre-experimental design. The first one is one shoot case study design. Next is one group pretest post test design and the last is static group comparison. Next is true experimental designs. The designs in this category are called true experiments because subjects are randomly assigned to groups. Because of the control they provide, they are the most highly recommended designs for experimentation in education. Example of true experimental designs are the first one is randomized subject post test only control group design is one of the simplest yet one of the most powerful of all experimental designs. It has the two essential elements necessary for maximum control of the traits to internal validity, randomization in a control group control group. Next is randomized match subjects post-test only control group design is similar to this, the previous design. Expect that it uses a matching technique to form equivalent groups. Subjects are matched on one or more variables that can be measured conveniently, such as IQ or reading score. Of course, the matching variables used are those that presumably have a significant correlation with the dependent Variable. Next is randomized subjects pretest post-test control group design. This design is one of the most widely used true or randomized experiments. Next is Salomon tree group designs. Salomon tree group design has the advantage of employing a second control group level C2 that is not pretest by its exposed to the treatment X. This group, despite receiving the experimental treatment, is functioning as a control and it and is two level control group. This design overcomes the difficulty inherent in design files, namely the interactive effect of pretesting. The last is Solomon for Group Designs. The Solomon for Group Designs provides still more rigorous control by extending in the previous design to include one more control group that receives neither pretest nor treatment. Factorial design. Factorial design is a type of research methodology that allows for the investigation of the main and interaction effect between two or more independent variables and 
on one or more account variables. The advantage of the factorial designs are that it accomplishes in one experiment what otherwise might require two or more separate studies, provides an opportunity to study interaction that are often very important in educational research, and provides a more powerful test of hypothesis. QAC Experimental Design QAC experimental design are similar to randomized experimental design in that they involve manipulation of an independent variable but differ in that subjects are not randomly assigned to treatment groups because the QAC experimental design does not provide full control it is extremely important that research be aware of the threat to both internal and external validity and consider this factor in their interpretation. Time series design First, one group time series design. The one group time series design involves periodic measurement on one group and the introduction of an experimental treatment into this time series of measurement. As the sign indicate a number of measurement of y are made variable are taken x is introduced and additional measurement of y are made. Next is control group time series design. The control group time series design is an extension of design 11 to include a control group. The control group again representing an intact class will be measured at the same time as the experimental group but will not experience the X treatment. Validity problems with experimental design. The summary must not be depended on as the show guide in selecting a design. It must be accompanied by a true consideration of the qualified presentation appearing in the text so that the reader understand the particular strength and weakness that characterizes each design. Single Subject Experimental Design the single subject experimental designs are a type of experimental design with a unique feature. The sample size is just one or is composed of a few participants who are treated as one unit. ABA design. The ABA design consists of a period of no treatment or baseline E during which the behavior of interest is rapidly measured example of such behavior are the number of time a student with cognitive disability leaves her seat or the number of time an autistic child bang his head. This pre-treatment assessment serves as a control period with which treatment average will be compared after a stable picture of pre-treatment. Behavior has been established phase B. The treatment is initiated in the treatment phase the child may be given tokens or exchangeable for desired privilege. For time period spent seated or time period with no self-abusive action. Okay, that's all our material and thank you.